Hello guys, this is the second theory of continental drift given by Taylor. Okay, so that this is known as Taylor's theory. He suggested that there were two great landmasses in southern hemisphere Gondwana and in northern hemisphere Laurasia. So, okay, he suggested that there are two great landmasses. One is Gondwana that is in southern hemisphere and the other is mm, Laurasia that is uh, situated in northern hemisphere. In some landmasses, in some time, landmasses started spreading equ towards equator radially from polar region. From the polar region, landmasses started spreading outward in the direction of radian, radius, radius of the uh, for the earth. So that is called radial radial spreading. Okay, uh, he assumed sudden increase of tidal action by moon increased by moon, and that increased the rate of rotation of earth, which dragged the continents away from the pole. This means. Uh, he assumed that uh, due to uh, tidal action by moon, there was increase in the rate of rotation of earth and due to increase in rate of rotation, continents were dragged away from the pole. So This was a Taylor's theory and now I will explain you the diagram. This, was, this is the earth and uh, first, the means this is not the diagram for Taylor's theory, this is actually the diagram for uh, uh, Wagner's theory. Okay. So the all land masses were united, and that were called that was called Pangaea, and this is the ocean, Panthalesa. Then they were divided. The northern hemisphere, the part in northern hemisphere was called the Laurasia, and the part in southern hemisphere was called Gondwana land. Okay, and then these two were separated, and a sea formed between them called Tethys. T E T H Y S. Okay, so here uh, I complete the uh, topic of continental drift. And these are new notes.